meeting written by Marina Ivanovna Sveteva Marina Ivanovna Sveteva was a Russian poet her inclination towards poetry blossomed only after the death of her mother while she was 14 Russian poetry was at the time deeply influenced by symbolist movement and she was attracted by the style. Now let us come to the poem Meeting. Evening dimmed like our cells charmed with this first warmth of the spring. Stirring alive our birth was alarmed with sympathetic tenderness. the kind gale touched us with a tired wing in our souls raised on a fairy tale sorrow quietly cried for past things he came so unexpected so hurriedly he who helped in all things before and far off in a line unconsolably the street lamps radiant dots burned through light darkness some more all around flowers we bought we bought a bouquet what for quietly withered away unseen garden in the sky violet red how to be saved from late trouble all returned for a moment for long we speechlessly looked at sun going to bed and gogol nodded thoughtful from the pedestal like a brother sad it was the beginning of the spring and the evening was so dim the warmth of the season charmed the poet and her companion life stirred and the pedestrian street in the historical center of moscow arbat was alarmed The wind was so kind and as well as tired and touched them with sympathy and care. The poet suddenly felt sorrow in her soul at the thought of fairy tale like past. The past was so dear to the poet which was now disappearing. Pastor Nak came near her so unexpected and hurriedly. He was the poet's friend who have helped the poet in all things before his arrival bring hope to the poet for a better and bright tomorrow but he was not that old friend now he was like the street lamp that is he had radiance of light in him but it was still dim with the darkness pastor nak turned out to be a damner The poet asked a rhetorical question that whether the flowers and bouquet were bought to bid farewell to the older orders or to welcome the new order. The poet fears the new order. The new order can destroy the garden of old order and thus makes the sky violet red. The poet now asks for the ways to get out of this trouble. She wants to escape from this new phase. She is in a state of confusion that whether the changes are temporary or permanent. The troubles are caused due to the revolution. She compares all the intellectuals and artists in Russia with the statue of Gogol. They are as still as the statue and not stood up for their country and its people. The nod of the statue of Gogol seems to admit the weight of their emotions and the pitiable nature of their encounter.